Hey everyone, I'm Chris and in this quick tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use a wrap deformer and teach you what it actually does and why it's useful. Now I'm going to be using Maya 2012 but you should be able to follow along with this tutorial in earlier versions of Maya. So first off, what does a wrap deformer do? I've set up this simple scene with this cube here and this is just a standard polygon cube with a transparent Lambert assigned to it so we can see the sphere that's in the middle of it. And if I select the verse on top here, perhaps, and pull them up, you can see the cube is deforming the sphere inside. Okay, so to show you how to set this up and to show you why it's useful, I've got this scene of a wheel rim that I modeled here. Now I modeled this flat, and normally wheel rims have an arc in them, so we could just go and select all the edges that we want which would be time consuming and annoying and a wrap deformer is actually the ideal way to do this so to do this i think we'll use a polygon cylinder and what i need to do is i need to position the cylinder before setting this up and i want to make it as close to the size of the rim as possible. So I'm just going to scale that up so it's just slightly larger than the rim. I'm going to go into the other side and I am going to scale that down. So that it is just about encompassing the entire rim. That should, that would do us. Now I need to give this some cap segments. So let's say, let's see what would be good. Six looks like about a good number. I'm going to be leaving the first out of two uh, edge loops where they are, and this will hold the edge of the rim in place. I'm going to use the next two inner loops to pull out the spokes on the rims. And then the two right at the center will be used again to hold the center of the rim where it is. Now to set this up, really simple, we select the wheel rim first, then we select the cylinder, we come to the animation menu and under create deformers on the top we simply hit wrap. It's that simple. Maya has now selected the object that's going to be deformed for us rather usefully but we want the object that we're going to use to do the deforming and when we do that you can see the wheel rim has turned purple to let us know that it is affected by the object that we currently have selected. So I'm going to select the edge loops, now I want both the front and back so I'm going to select them and them, convert that selection to edge loop and then I can just pull them forward and you can see that this is actually starting to affects the wheel rim. So if I pull that out, go back to object, if I hide this cylinder and you can see we now have a nice bow in the wheel rim. You also you don't have to use edge loops or vertex to do this, you can use just the whole object. It will also act as a deformer. So say we're actually done with this, to get rid of it, all we need to do is select the wheel rim, delete the history, and that will delete the connection between the two. You can see now when I select this cylinder, it has absolutely no effect on the wheel rim anymore. So I can just simply delete that, and my wheel is ready to be used. Now you don't have to use standard out of the box geometry, you can model anything you want to use as a deformer and I've got another quick scene to show you what I mean. Okay, these are a pair of trousers I modelled for a previous tutorial and I've already set this up. I've modelled this cage around these trousers and to set it up I do exactly the same. I select the trousers, then the wrap deformer, come up to create deformers again, wrap deformer. And now, if I select uh, let's select all the bottom here, put some soft selection on perhaps, and I can turn these trousers into shorts. 
simple as that. Okay, hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. Bye.